Hello Virgos, is here with a general reading for the sign of Virgo. Um, this this uh, story that's coming out today um, could resonate with anyone who has Virgo strongly in their chart, but it will not fit for everyone because we're all different ages, we're all moving through different types of experiences, and we all have complicated natal charts. So um, it, from my perspective, it's really not feasible for, for all Virgos to be in the same place at the same time. Um, but hopefully there's something in this story that comes out today that will be helpful for you. My beautiful friends, I welcome you into this, into this place, into this space, and um, I'm glad you're here, and I look forward to seeing what's coming out today. Before I get started, I want to um, remind everyone that I do I do extended readings for these. Um, this reading in itself will be comprehensive. Um, I do comprehensive readings, and then for the extended readings, I dig much deeper into smaller energies within the reading. So... I go down rabbit holes in the readings. I look deeper into certain into certain situations that come out in the reading. But this reading in itself will be a comprehensive reading. All right, let's go ahead and get started, Virgo, and see what's coming out for you in your general energy. Um, Virgo, there's some there's some kind of a change here because as I was getting into your energy, um, I had to start. The starting was was it, it's like I couldn't get my introduction right and even when I actually got it halfway there in this recording it still felt a little bit um a little bit different so there's some sort of change here coming in for Virgos and look there's a wheel of fortune so there's something happening here the current energy for this group of Virgo look the ace of pentacles flipped over with the three of pentacles so um, didn't come out. It's just some kind. It's just a smaller detail. It's an indication of what's to come, or it's a. It's part of the the overall story here. Current situation for Virgos. Current situation for Virgos. All right. What will Virgo be stepping into in the next immediate future? This is looking at the next seven to ten days, the next two weeks, the next three weeks, something like that. It would be arrogant of me to put a time frame definitely on it because this is a message that's coming. In for you, Virgo, I am the messenger, but um, I just don't feel like it's really my place to tell you um, what's going on with your life. So it's up to you to decide, like, does this fit for you? And, and how fast are you moving? Are you moving um, ahead of the pace? Are you moving right with the average energy? Or are you moving a little slower? It just kind of depends on what your situation is, how deep it is and how fast you're moving. What's in your natal chart? I mean, do you have fast moving energies in your natal chart or are you more, um, are you more grounded? You know, it just depends on how your, what your makeup is. What is Virgo stepping into? What is Virgo stepping into? What is Virgo stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Virgo stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Virgo stepping into in the next immediate future? What is Virgo stepping into? What is Virgo stepping into in the next immediate future? All right. And guidance, please, for a Virgo. Let's see here. Guidance, please, for Virgo. Guidance, please, for Virgo. Guidance, please, for Virgo. Guidance, please, guidance, please, for Virgo. There we go. All right, we're here. We've got it. The time is 4.15. Well, I mean, it's 4 minutes, 15 seconds. Okay, so let's uncover the truth here. Let's uncover the truth of what's happening, Virgo. Two of Wands. Okay, yeah, I felt it. All right, Death Energy, Five of Cups. Five of Cups is is, is moving on like you're... You're moving out of that energy of the Five of Cups. So let me get deeper into this. There is, you're in the middle of determining what kind of a strategy you're going to take. You've already found some kind of clarity, right? You've already found the answer. You've already figured this out, like what it is that is clear, what it is that's the truth. And now that you have this truth, now that you have this truth, 
Now you have to figure out what you're going to do. What actions are you going to take? Because no matter what, there's new momentum here. Something's happened that's pushed you farther. That's That's got the ball rolling. So something is starting to move. You have the death energy coming in, Scorpio energy, um, that is connected with this Five of Cups. So some kind of situation in the past um, that happened that you could have been stuck in for, for a while. There could have been something that happened a long time ago that you really had a hard time pulling your energy away from. Sometimes events and situations that happened to us in the past, there is a very thick thread of energy from us to that event or to that situation or to that person. And it's really hard sometimes to figure out, okay, how do I lighten that thread? How do I get that thread to be very thin? That thread will never go away. You'll never forget that situation. It's always going to be part of your story. But how do you get that thread of energy to lighten so that that event or that person can fly up high in the sky like a balloon and go along with you in a way that it doesn't impact your forward movement. It doesn't impact how you feel. It doesn't impact your your decisions and the people that you're with now. So there was a situation here that you had to work to, to separate yourself from something that um, was not fun. It involved an emotional, um, it involved your heart center. It involved your love or the way you loved or the way you thought about the world around you. There is a death energy here. So that means that you're really coming out of that energy now. Um, you're transforming yourself. You have gone through some kind of deep reflection. Death energy always comes with seeing some kind of truth and, and really having to face it. I mean, even when we have death in our lives, when actually someone passes on, it's something that it, it can't be, I mean, it can be ignored for a little while. And sometimes that kind of feels like that. Like, I can't believe this person is gone. But in the end, like they're truly like not living in the 3D anymore. So it's something that you face and you come, you come frontal with it. It's like a frontal face. It's facing it, facing the truth, facing what it was and really allowing yourself to accept the situation, um, to see the clarity within it. Um, to to feel it again, maybe, and then to forgive it. Um, transformation usually comes with some sort of understanding and some sort of forgiveness. It doesn't mean that you forget, but you find some kind of understanding in it. You find some kind of acceptance in it, and you move forward. That's a death energy. So um, this is this is real transformation that I see here. And not only is there a transformation, but there's new momentum. And that's pretty exciting. And now there is some sort of a strategy here that you're that you're building for yourself. Some sort of a um, some kind of a some kind of a change. It's there's a hermit energy. There you are. That's what you do, my friends. You figure things out and you make changes. If you only from your own perspective, like the hermit doesn't make changes from what other people say or advice that comes from other people. The hermit digs deep within and sees his or her roles, sees other people's roles, see how they played into this game, into this Broadway play, and they find clarity in it. And they usually come out of that situation doing something just a little different, finding clarity and then changing the game just a little bit. So here you come, you're making this strategy, you're creating this game plan here. Um, it looks like there's a second chance for something or there was some major gift that came in or some epiphany that you received. Um, something here that has given you some sort of new, newfound sense of self or new kind of gift energy or something incredible that has happened. Um, I, I think it could even be an epiphany or a deep realization or, or, or a major decision that's come in um, that has put you in, in some sort of a place where you're making, um, you're creating some strategies for how you could move forward now that this new momentum has happened and you've gone through this transformation here. All right, let's see what's coming in in the future here for you, Virgo. What's coming in in the future for Virgo? And these energies came out quite easily. Um, so four of pentacles energy. All right. King of Cups in the upright. Higher font in the upright. Nine of Cups in the upright. Seven of Pentacles coming in. You know, it's coming in. The star energy in the front and center. Temperance. I mean, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, Virgo. 
Um, now, you could have a King of Cups here in this in this picture in this story. Um, a masculine um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy doesn't have to be those three signs, but this is a person who um, is um, very generous, very giving takes action in the external world to bring in health and vitality and nourishment. Um, he is a, he is a generous, warm hearted energy, very loving, um, likes to take action to create more nourishing environments, um, may have a harder time saying the words, the words come a little bit more difficult, more harder for the King of Cups, but he certainly is a very loving energy, could be a man or a woman. If it's a woman, this is a woman who is out in the community, in the in the external home, not within, not within the heart center, but in the heart of the home and making changes to bring in love and vitality. So um, there could be a King of Cups here. Um, if there's not a King of Cups, this is you taking action, right? In the energy of like what I just said, bringing love and vitality and nourishment into your home or into the workplace or into the community in some way. Um, it looks like there is new momentum here um, with the Seven of Pentacles. So you're going from the Four of Pentacles into the Seven of Pentacles. So it looks like you're um, moving out of a period of time where you had to be very, very cautious about money. Um, you, you were in this very much a protective energy. Um, it might have been an energy that you had to be in. Um, but the, something is something is moving into a more abundant period of time. So there's some sort of gain here. There is some sort of product or um, a a new placement in a relationship, a new success in a relationship. Um, something has happened here that has taken this experience and moved it from this very careful um, holding on, protecting keeping down under, keeping to oneself. Um, it's like, I've got to save and I've got to scrimp because I don't know what tomorrow will bring. You know, it's, I can't do this. I can't go on this trip because I really have to pay my bills or um, I really can't let my spouse go on this trip because we just don't, it's, 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 con it's a control that you have. It's the grips, the fingers, the arms that you have around um, material items or the way you're feeling, you have your arms around it, you're holding tight to it because you're worried that somebody is going to take it or you're worried about instability. So you're moving out of that energy into a more abundant energy. So something has happened here that has ascended this, that has um, increased the propensity for prosperity um, with this with this real life situation. So this is something about money or material goods or something that creates a foundation in your world. All right, so it is definitely, and we did have the Wheel of Fortune. So there could be new money coming in or new success coming in. Whatever it is, it allows you to go from the four to the seven, which means there is something tangible now that you can work with. It doesn't have to be money. It can be a relationship. If it's a relationship, it's something that's actually happening that's getting more grounded and more firm. And it's it's actually um, becoming something that you can feel comfortable in and feel secure in. There is still much more work to be done because this apple isn't ripe, but there's certainly apples on the trees and the farmer is certainly planning on harvest, right? So there is a there is this very much a, an energy of investing, of training, of preparing for abundance in the future. Now, this energy is over the top of the King of Cups. So there definitely there could be a person here, a partner here that you're working with right in this endeavor. So this could be a spouse, a business partner, a coworker, a community member, a family member, whatever, whatever this is. Now there's a star energy too. So this is an Aquarius energy. It is the time of Aquarius right now. So um, there is this energy around and I can feel it. Well, I'm an Aquarius, but I, I can feel it now. It's like it's, it's all over. It's an energy that's very much a part of many, many people's lives, an energy of truth and of thinking differently and um, being able to think very creativity in, in having these ideas or having epiphanies or, or finding interest in new things and just really expanding your horizons of, of what you really were interested in before. This is really coming into your own now and, and living in your own truth. Now the star energy is over the top of the King of Cups and over the top of the higher font. So what that is telling me is there's some sort of um, coming into one's own here 
Um, there could be a relationship that's really coming into itself or it is, is really becoming a part of the destiny here. There could be a person who is going through some major healing here with the King of Cups. Um, but I do feel like you're really starting to sense that whether it is this um, nourishing of your home or, or this nourishing energy that's building within your community, or if this is in a relationship with another person, this relationship is becoming a part of your destiny. Whatever this is, this is becoming a part of your path. It's, it's coming into its own. It's finding its own truth, right? It's part of, um, it's part of a destiny here. It's, it, and, and I think that part of the story is this King of Cup energy, whether you're carrying this energy or you're working with another person who is in this energy, um, there is a healing here. There is some sort of a healing here. And now that there's a healing and now that there's a path, that's coming forward. Um, it, it just feels like there's, there is some kind of, um, new movement forward that will take you deeper into some kind of commitment here. And this strategy that you're working on currently right now is going to help you move from the four of pentacles to the seven of pentacles. So that's why you have this strategy that you're working on. Something you're doing here is moving this from this. I've got to hold on because I'm not sure what's going to happen. You're, you're finding more comfort. Now you're, you're steadier on your feet and you can build it. So something is building and something is creating and something, some kind of decision you're making now is going to help that be more fruitful. It's going to help the apples grow. Whatever you're doing, maybe you're fertilizing the trees or whatever you're doing here with it, with the harvest that you're building, whatever the work that you're doing, it's building it. It's bringing it to um, a more fruitful place. So you're getting into action now and you're moving forward through the five pentacles, through the six of pentacles into the seven. So you're really jumping ahead now with this wheel of fortune. So something has happened in your life right now that has put you in momentum here to really ascend in how you feel about your safety and security and your money, right? Safety and security and in your relationship. It's something about safety and security and moving it into a more fruitful period of time, like really building it and being excited about the future. This farmer is excited about these apples. She's really thinking um, progressively into the future. She's thinking about the abundance that's to come. She's thinking about the success that she, that is about to come. Not only is she thinking about the success and the abundance, she's looking at how she can safely protect this crop and make sure that it continues to grow so that the bugs don't get it or the weather doesn't change and, and it creates some kind of a um, damage to the crop. So she's really working to um, keep it safe She's working to grow it and feed it. And she's looking forward to the day um, when it gets to be the Ten of Pentacles, where there's this financial abundance, this family, this legacy, this safety, this comfort, um, uh, um, considerable about, uh, considerable more, more wealth is what's kind of coming in. This definitely has connected to this King of Cups. Now, um, with the higher fun energy, this is some sort of agreement. I feel like there's some sort of a, a contract agreement, something here that, that comes into place in the, in the next future that helps cement this in. So if you're in a relationship, um, something's going to happen that you feel or that you see some type of a contract, some kind, some type of routine or agreements or, um, or understandings that are formed that help bring this into a more, um, a more concrete kind of situation. So if this is in work um, and, and maybe you are working on a project and it has come to a certain point, I mean, it, it has hit a certain goalpost that has brought you to a certain victory, into a certain place of victory. And because of that victory and because of this healing and this empowerment and this love and vitality that's coming into this situation, um, out of that comes some sort of new bonus or new... Um, capacities being given, or uh, maybe you're gaining some staff, or maybe you're getting another contract, or you're ex being able to extend your contract with this company, or whatever it is, there's some sort of a, of a contract, an agreement, some sort of formality within society or formality within a family unit that helps in this healing and revitalization. So something about this contract, whether it's an engagement or some sort of a unspoken because a contract can be, the higher font can be like, let's say you are in love with someone and you move in with them, right? You move in with them and there becomes a routine and you form this 
maybe unspoken sort of agreement that this is how you're doing things. This is the routine. This is how you're doing things. Um, it can even be a verbal agreement like, okay, we, we let's respect and honor each other. You know, whatever it is, it doesn't have to be an engagement. It doesn't have to be a marriage, but it's something that creates it, it creates again the highway, right? It creates the highway so that everything is is organized and it creates structure so that we can move fluidly within it without having to be concerned about the tiniest of details, about having to be concerned about crashing into something or having an accident because of disorganization. So it's something that brings structure and safety and routine and um, and some sort of commitment here um, into this situation and it allows you to really step forward into whatever this is. This is about destiny, about healing, about living in your truth here with the star energy. It's also about being your true self and really enjoying to being that in that energy, not hiding anything, right? Not hiding anything of who you are, really stepping forward into truly who you are and allowing it to be seen by everyone. Enjoying who you are, right? Enjoying who you are not being afraid to show who you are. So something within this agreement or this contract is allowing you and with this relationship here, either with a person or with yourself taking action in your own life is allowing you to really shine in such a beautiful way. We do have the temperance here over the nine of cups. So there is a wish coming true. Now it's going to take a little while for it ultimately to come true, but you have a lot of patience and understanding about this. You really do. This is temperance. This is understanding that it can take some time to get this all to pan out exactly how you've been working, you've been wishing it to. But the Nine of Cups is here. This is wish fulfillment. This is something coming true that you have been working very hard to get. Um, it's something that can be celebrated. It's something that brings fulfillment to the heart. Something that puts you at some sort of end of, of a period of time where you were working on attaining this. So this, you're coming to some sort of an end of a cycle here. Whether you were unsure about this, this fulfillment before, or you felt loss of fulfillment, or you were working hard to walk away from something to bring yourself to fulfillment, all of that is coming to some sort of completion now as you move into the future here. Um, again, though, we have temperance over the top of the Hierophant and over the top of the Nine of Cups. So it, it's going to take a little time. It's going to take a little bit of work. Uh, you're not afraid to work, Virgo. You guys are strong workers. You're not afraid to work. You're not afraid to go slow. That's it's it's kind of your own style in a way. This is this is moving forward in a way that feels really good for you. I don't see any rushing here. I don't see any hurrying crazily forward. No, even the King of Cups energy is a very slow, cautious very loving, nourishing energy. The star energy, the Aquarius energy is, is sometimes I'm, I mean, I'm Aquarius and sometimes I can be fairly slow. I have to think about every damn little thing, right? And really think and think and think and think and think about all kinds of crazy stuff, you know? So the, the star energy isn't, for me anyway, often a very fast energy. Now, if it's put with, a, with the Knight of Wands, well, that's a different story. But these energies are all very even keel, and stable, even keel and stable energies. I really like this. I think you're going to be very comfortable with this movement. Um, now, this could be more than two weeks. I mean, for this could be um, something that is it, that moves for. This could be two or three weeks period, or this could even be like a two month period, um, because we have the Seven of Pentacles. We have very slow energies here. We have the Seven of Pentacles energy. King of Cups is slower. The Star energy can be slower. The Higher Font is slower. I mean, just think about changing society. Think about that. It takes a lot of time to change society. It takes a lot of time to instigate new rules and structure within a community. So the Higher Font can be a very slow card as well. So um, I don't think this is going to happen super quickly. But I do think it's going to happen in a way that's going to bring a lot of comfort and stability into your world. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. So whether it's you taking action to bring in love and stability and financial um, improvement into your life, or you're doing this in tandem with someone here at King of Cups, um, whether or not it's with yourself or with another person, there is a wish coming true. This is a success story. And it's something to do with a community, structure within a family, a commitment, an agreement, maybe with a, with a large corporation or with a university or a religion or a church or even just a city. 
right? A higher font is like, to me, it's an energy of a highway system and the rules of the road, right? That's what the higher font is. It's not only religion. It's, it's the rules of the road. It's, it's how we create structure within a community so that there's not total chaos constantly. I mean, what would happen if we didn't have rules on our streets? We didn't have stripes and lanes and turn signals and stop signs. I mean, it would be a big haphazard crisis continually. And the way some of us drive, including me, we would be definitely part of that. Because <laughs> I go, you know, Oh, I don't know where I'm going there, but this is, this is really nice movement forward. And I love that it ends with the wish fulfillment. I, I love it. It's a, in star. I mean, it's just beautiful. It might not be uber exciting, but it's comfortable and it's safe. And you've been through a lot, Virgo. So it's time now to really sit back and begin to enjoy this process. And I think that you are here. I really think that you're able to. It's really beautiful. Let's look at the guidance guidance that's coming in for you. Manifesting, bringing it, making it happen. There, there is a queen of cups. Remember, we had the king of cups, the lover's energy, and the knight of pentacles. Ooh, boy. There could be love. There could be rejuvenation. There could be improvement. We have a new, something new being manifested here. Whether this is new love, new work, new um, self-love and fulfillment within a community or a workplace or within a home, whatever it is, you're working on bringing it in. Um, I do have the Queen of Cups here. This is internal well-being, internal health, healing of the heart chakra, right? Fullness of life. And we have the King of Cups here too in this picture. So there's either inner, there's either inner balance, which is the yin and yang of the lover's energy, or there's some sort of a partnership that's that's firming up or re revitalizing or um, becoming much more steady and and safe and secure and and comfortable. Something is really building here to be something that is going to be long-term with the Knight of Pentacles. Here you are, Virgo. So you have a situation here that's building. It's, it's manifesting itself um, as above, so below kind of energy. Um, this is about, um, th there could be a partner here. This could be you with the Queen of Cups. Or there's definitely here um, a focus on what brings you happiness within and how to take care of yourself, how to give time for yourself, how to make decisions that are in your own best interest, right? How to... Um, understand that if you are not happy, if you're not fulfilled, and if you're not really giving your own self love, how can you expect anyone else to? And how can you expect yourself to love someone else when you when you're empty within? Right. So it's a, it's the requirement here um, is a is, is a realization of the requirement in order to experience a healthy love or a healthy job or healthy bank account that we must um, take time to to nourish and care for our own internal well-being, our heart center. And we have the lover's energy. This is yin and yang energy. We can have yin and yang within us, um, that the energy of forward movement, of action, or of, of solid things happening in our lives, of making things happen. That's a yang action. And then we have the yin, um, resting, um, non-movement, reflection, um, the ability to love and to feel love and know what that is and to live in that. Um, it's, it's an, it's an, it's a, it's the queen of cups and the king of cups, right? It's, it's counterpart energy. So we can have counterpart energy and we all have counterpart energy within ourselves, the yin and yang within ourselves. That's what creates the chariot energy, the forward movement that's aligned and moving ahead. And we also can have yin and yang in our out, outer external lives where we could be the yin energy, this feminine, quiet, um, loving energy. And then you have the yang, which is this action um, moving forward, which is which is the more masculine energy. But I think for many of you here, this is coming. Um, it, it's going to fit with which with all of you differently. But, but for some of you, there is a, a, a relationship here that is building, that is becoming much more sturdy and much more steady. Um, the, the energies are settling in and you're finding your own roles and you're finding ways that you both can work together in a healthy way. And you're making stable, significant process forward into something very long term. Now, this could also be financial 
financial improvement in your life here with the, with the Knight of Pentacles. So here you are, Virgo. I mean, you're, you're making sure as you move forward that the progress that you make is stable, is, is significant, um, is steady, and it's for the long-term good, for the long-term health of your foundation, of your family, of your bank accounts, long-term movement. So you're not rushing here and there. You're being very careful as you move ahead. And we've seen the pentacles throughout. So I really think you're in your own energy here, being very careful, very considerate, um, and, and moving forward very consistently to some story of success. And it does, um, for many of you, involve some sort of a partnership here. Um, for others of you, this is really understanding the importance of, of um, um, self-love and self-healing and self-revitalization and moving forward into your own kind of abundance into your own um, self-reliance into your own sense of self and, and individual freedom here with the knight of pentacles so it's it's this no matter if you're with someone or without someone um, this is a success story now i think the way i feel that this if this is a relationship it's already a relationship that had already begun so um and that's how I feel here. Something, if this is a job or something with a coworker or with a company or within a community, it's something that it had already started that you're working to build, that you're working to um, make stronger or to improve. Um, if this is a love, re a love relationship um, or something within the family, it had already, it has already been something. So you're working to make it healthier and more comfortable and more secure and more long term. So it's, it's a, it's a clear reading for me. It's not a hard reading this time, Virgo. So it's, it's a clean energy. And I don't think you're confused about anything at this point. I think you're, um, just working hard. I think you're moving carefully. I think you're enjoying life. Um, you're feeling steady improvement and it doesn't feel, um, difficult. It, it, I, I know that you're working at it and it's not, like magic where you just click your heels and it's there, but I don't think you're necessarily worried or confused about it is what I'm getting. So um, let me think of what I'm going to do in the extended reading of what I'm going to dig into. I'm definitely going to dig into this wish coming true with this nine of cups. I want to dig into the king of cups. I want to dig into the queen of cups because we have counterpart energy here. I want to dig into the lover's energy. And the Wheel of Fortune, I think. So it's the Wheel of Fortune, um, the Nine of Cups, the two counterpart energies, and the Lover's Energy. That's what I'm going to connect in with um, in the extended. And I might move this out into February to see how it moves into February, too, or into the next. So I have this... I, I have this current energy, and then we have the next incoming period of energy, and then I might look out um, into the to the third set of energy, which would be depending on how fast you're moving, it could be March, February, or March. So um, we're we're current, and then we're moving out into the next three weeks or so, or however fast you're moving, and then we might look out into the next six weeks or eight weeks to see how it kind of progresses. So that's what I'll do in the extended. All right, Virgo, I hope this was helpful. Wishing you all the best. Um, happy travels, successful journeys. It's exciting to see. All right. Thank you so much.